Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Ed, if you're new here, I thought I'd introduce myself because the last couple of days, or specifically over the weekend, after my my PR attempt on, on Alpta Zwift, um, we've gained a massive influx of new people. So I just wanna say welcome, and I hope you enjoy what you see. Um, I highly recommend you go back and watch some of the key videos over the last kind of one to two years that I posted. There's not many of them, but certain videos will give you an insight into, I guess, me and what I'm like racing out on the road and what my efforts are like out on the road, as well as my indoor efforts as well. So if you've been following the last couple of days, Zwift did a race around Richmond that was advertised as a race with Matthew Van Der Poel. Now a certain Lionel Sanders won that race and I've been a big fan of Mr. Sanders for quite some time now and it always drew me in to see just how aggressive he was on the bike. He's obviously a very successful triathlete but with all of his training, I think he's become famous for all of his training and preparation indoors. So I've watched his videos for the last couple of years and I've always picked up on a few things that he's been very open about his training sessions. And this year after his this year after his successes in triathlon, specifically in 2017 coming second at Kona, he has really been up front and forward, which is really good about his his weaknesses and what he needed to address. He's tweaked his training, he's changed his training. And one of his sessions that he posted the other day, which really caught my eye, was something that I've not done, I think, ever. Uh, I've come close to doing something similar, but I've never actually done it. I've specifically never done it indoors. So I thought, being that Lionel has become much more well-known now in the cycling world after his exploits winning the Swift race the other day, that maybe it was a chance to try one of his workouts and see just how hard it is because it's something that we can watch and maybe we all want to try, but it's knowing how to manipulate that session so that you can also try it as well. So this is what this video is about. This video is not about me saying, uh, Lionel, you're not as strong as you are. I can do this workout as well. It's got nothing to do with that at all. I just want to show that you can adapt a workout to meet your needs and you can attempt to copy other riders' workouts, but you have to remember so the actual workout itself is a three by 40 minutes at 330 watts at low RPMs with 20 minutes of recovery. This recovery is not complete recovery. It talks about recovering at quite a high level. Um, the 16, 70 RPM thing is, is very useful. A lot of professional riders train at low RPMs. They simulate the long climbs, um, particularly those who race in the Tour de France and it's repetitive, so he's doing it for three reps. So the important thing to remember is that I can't just jump on the turbo and go 330 watts for 40 minutes. It's, it doesn't translate. So in order to translate this and to make it a similar kind of effort, but make, making it my own effort, I have to know Lionel's weight. because what I want to do is translate it over in watts per kilo to make it relevant to me. So what I've done is I've taken the snippet from Lionel's weigh-in from his recent race and given that there's only a couple of weeks apart from the two, I suspect that his weight hasn't changed massively. So in his weighing, he's 73 kilos and the 73 kilos equates to, equates to that 330 watts being four and a half watts per kilo. So for me, I need to ride at four and a half watts per kilo for 40 minutes at 60 to 70 RPM. And then 20 minutes, if you do the calculation again, uh, Lionel's recovering for those 20 minutes at 3.6 watts per kilo open cadence. Now how this translates to, to my fitness, that is actually um, the 40 minutes will be uh, lower zone three. So lower tempo work. And then the 20 minutes is kind of just literally endurance, so your, your borderline zone one, zone two, that's how it translates for me. It could translate entirely different to you guys because of course, four and a half watts per kilo for you might mean threshold. You know, that might mean your one hour maximum power. Now, if that's the case, then 
it, the workout's going to be very, very difficult because you'll be doing three times 40 minutes at your threshold. But again, it's still a total of 120 minutes at lower zone three. So that's not to be, that's not to be joked about. <laughs> Okay, I'm just descending off the uh, the epic KRM, I think it is. We didn't go up the radio tower. Obviously, this route doesn't cover that. Um, that first effort, that first block of 40 minutes, it took me a long time to get into it. Like the thing I've noticed with this workout, with respect to like everybody who will try this, is like riding up that power is relatively uncomfortable but it's even more uncomfortable when you have to ride as Lionel has at really low RPM so I'm riding at well, I'm actually in the 20 minute off period now and I'm riding about 80 to 90 RPM and my heart rate's 127 on max today uh, I'm gonna do a guess my max is around 185 so we're quite a way below that, but it does actually, in the 40 minute block, because of the low cadence, it does keep my heart rate quite low. And it's sitting around the 140 beats per minute mark, which is, uh, like I say, like relatively uncomfortable. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the next one. But it seems to be passing quite quick. Okay, so halfway through the second rest block, and, uh, that second block of 40, it wasn't any easier than the first. Not that I thought it would be, but it's definitely getting to the point where I have to think about my breathing, I have to think about my cadence. Even though it's on the screen, I've really got to concentrate on what I'm doing to make sure I'm holding steady. <clears throat> Last block, 40 minutes. Hold it up. Here we go. So there's only a couple of takeaways from this. Lionel is still a beast. The session doesn't feel as long as it is, which is three hours. Um, I've got 14 minutes to go of the last rest block, which is 20 minutes long. And uh, that was a real tussle, that last 40 minute block. Even with 30 minutes to go, I was starting to starting to sway a bit and <clears throat> Lionel said in this video he's done a session before where he's done two blocks he felt like he could do like he could do three and yet in that session he said that he found it more mentally taxing than physical even though it's still hard physically mentally it was quite hard because you're having to hold back but yet still concentrate on your cadence Fair play, Lionel. So I've just got done with the ride. Three hours, 15 minutes in total. I would never, I would never have done that um, if I didn't like have that session to copy or to follow. Obviously I have to individualize it, make it individual to me, make it meaningful to me, and by that I meant I had to put it in perspective. 330 watts, what is that to Lionel? And then what is that to me? And so the 266 to 270 watts that I was sustaining was was literally right there. It was it was, it was very uncomfortable and um, for the whole length of time, if you think about it, 
in total it's two hours spent at that intensity um, and it's different for all of us you know you look at the hour record where the average power of the hour record is like 445 watts that's just the wattage but what does that actually mean to that rider and then how does another rider individualize that workout so that they could mimic riding at that power for an hour and, and one of the easiest and simplest ways is to work out that riders watts per kilo and transfer it to yours it's not a great measure but it's a good one if you haven't got any more details to go on so i really enjoyed that and it gave me great like motivation and pleasure to finish it so if you have any other ideas or if you have any workouts yourself that you think i should try then um fire them my way and i will gladly try them uh, i've got a couple of ones written down myself that I found that pros have written and done um, like some stages from Grand Tours like when Yeetie won on a mountain top finish and he got in a break all day I want to try and simulate that and that sort of thing give myself some challenges while I'm indoors and potentially um, <laughs> push myself to another level in the process so thank you so much for watching, uh, if you enjoyed it then please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and uh, of course shoot Lionel a message telling him that I tried this workout and uh, it was just as hard as I thought it would be. So respect, I'll see you all soon.